The Somali pirate phenomenon, which has captivated and disrupted the world for the past few decades, has become an international spotlight highlighting the complexity of conflict, state fragility, and economic issues haunting the Somali coast. Somali Pirate Phenomenon Within this intricate narrative, there is a backdrop of history, economic struggles, and political dynamics influencing this phenomenon. The journey of Somali piracy began as a result of political crisis, civil war, and chaos that engulfed the country since the early 1990s. After the collapse of the dictator Syed Bar's regime in 1991, Somalia plunged into chaos, lacking effective governance and enduring prolonged interclan conflicts. With no stable governance system, legal institutions, or adequate security, the Somali coastline became a breeding ground for pirate activities. Somali pirates, initially, were desperate fishermen and local residents trying to survive amidst rich waters, but shattered economies. Instead of catching fish for a living, they saw large vessels crossing their waters as potential sources for plundering and earning money. Cargo ships, cruise liners, and even oil tankers became targets for pirates. The primary factors triggering the emergence of pirate activities were political and security instability in Somalia, along with widespread poverty along the coast. These conditions became the main drivers for young people to join pirate gangs as one of the fastest and most profitable ways to earn money in an environment lacking viable alternatives. The pirates used small boats, often equipped with light weapons and even machine guns, to attack passing ships. They carried out swift ambushes, demanding ransom payments from ship owners or insurance companies to release the ship and its crew. If the ransom was not paid, they often resorted to violence or threatened to destroy the ship and its cargo. During the peak of pirate activities, the waters off Somalia became one of the riskiest shipping lanes in the world. Ships had to take extreme precautions, such as using armed convoy escorts or drastically altering their shipping routes to avoid Somali waters. This not only increased operating costs for shipping companies, but also created barriers to international trade and humanitarian aid distribution to Somalia and its surroundings. International responses to the Somali pirate threat have been varied. Initially, some countries opted for negotiations with pirates to free hijacked ships and their crews. However, the increasing frequency of attacks and escalating ransom demands by pirates prompted several nations to launch military operations to respond to this threat. One of the largest military operations launched to address Somali piracy is Operation Atlanta, led by the European Union. This operation involves warships and aircraft from various countries working together to secure Somali waters and protect ships passing through. Similar operations have also been conducted by the United States Navy and several other countries. However, Despite military and preventative efforts successfully reducing the number of pirate attacks, the issue has not been fully resolved. Somali pirates continue to pose a threat to maritime trade and stability in the region, while the unstable political and economic situation on the Somali mainland allows this phenomenon to persist. Additionally, some analysts criticize international responses for being too focused on capturing pirates rather than addressing the root causes in Somalia. Political turmoil, extreme poverty, and lack of viable economic opportunities remain the primary drivers for young people in Somalia to engage in piracy activities. In examining the Somali pirate phenomenon, we not only see isolated criminal actions, but also the complexity of challenges faced by conflict-affected, impoverished, and politically unstable countries. To address this issue, comprehensive efforts are needed, 
including the development of stable political and economic structures in Somalia, along with strong international cooperation to secure waters and protect maritime trade in the region.